Hi guys, it's Rhonda from Immortal Colors by Rhonda here to do another pour for you today. Welcome to my channel. If you're a new viewer, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell so you know when I upload a new video. If you're a repeat offender, I appreciate the support. Today we're going to do a straight pour using a, fl uh, a split cup. And my colors are going to be Folk Art Navy Blue. This is um, Folk Art Sterling Silver, Montmartre Phalo Blue. This is a color I made up. Um, it's uh, white with a little bit of yellow and a little bit of brown to make a creamy color, kind of like a Naples yellow almost. And then I have Amsterdam Titanium White. And I think that cream color needs to be, um, I need to put some water in it. And then we have uh, Artist Loft Black. Let me see, let me check this out real quick. Oh no, it's okay. And a split cup, it just has different chambers. I'm going to fill them each with a color, except for these two. I'm going to rotate the black and the silver. So we're going to do that first so we don't get all messed up. And this is an 8 ounce cup too, and this is a 12 by 12 canvas. Turn this around in my other hand so I can scrape it. Okay. I'm going to finish that off with white. A little white in the bottom of each of these. I think I just messed up. Oh well, we'll just have a lot of white, that's all. I'm going to take these lids off because it seems to go a little quicker. Cup is layered. Let's go ahead and give this a pour.
And as always, turn your cup upside down, even a split cup, inside your leftover paint cup. Let it drain out. And we're running off the canvas here, aren't we? centered a little bit. I'm going to wreck this, I believe. See how this turns out. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna make some uh, floats. Then to get my water. Um, I really don't want to use that, but. Flow extender would just help it to slide across the canvas better so that um, the paint doesn't roll under itself. Just helps you to save your composition. Oh, a little too fast on that one. Pardon me while I turn that off. Sorry about that. All right. Oh, gotta get this torch. Look at all them air bubbles. Let's go ahead and anchor it off of this corner here real quick. Oh no, let's not. Let's go ahead and see what we can come up with here. Back to the middle. Back to the middle again. again. Back. Glad I did use the flow extender because I don't think I would have had enough paint otherwise.
All right, guys, let me go clean up my hands, and I'll clean up the edges, torch it again, and bring you in for a close-up. Okay, guys, as always, remember to scrape them edges a couple times so that your paint stays on the canvas and doesn't continue to drip off. for a close-up okay guys here we go a close-up of the wet results I love the lines and the definition you get using the split cup it really keeps most of the colors separated they don't blend as much as they do if you put them in a regular cup so, it's a different experience that's for sure all right, we'll be back with the dry results. Okay, guys, here we go with the dry results. Well, it's almost dry. The center is still tacky, I'm sure. It looks it. I'm not going to touch it to find out because nobody wants to buy a fingerprint. Got some definitely different character in it. But uh, that's what you get with a straight pour, and I did do a little bit of a wreck -a ring on it. Well, I guess it's not a wreck -a ring because it wasn't a ring to begin with. It was a straight pour, so. Anyways, if you haven't given me a like and a subscribe, please do so, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.